Welcome to the Interactive Intelligence Guru video series by CPI. This entry is titled Polycom Provisioning in Interaction Center 3.0. Successful implementation of managed IP phone provisioning in Interaction Center 3.0 will dramatically increase consistency of phone configuration, increase overall system stability, simplify management, and decrease administrative overhead. As of Service Update 8, Interaction Center manages 20 models of Polycom phones the Interactive Intelligence SIP soft phone, and the Interaction SIP station. When setting up IP phone provisioning, please consult current documentation, as the information presented here may have changed. While the steps presented here also apply to other managed IP phones, this entry will focus on Polycom phone provisioning. This entry also assumes that the necessary network infrastructure, including switches, VLANs, routing, QoS, etc., is present and correctly configured. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'll be using the following configuration. The data domain will be example.local, voice domain phones.local. I'll have a domain controller and two IC servers. If using a dual NIC configuration for voice and data, open the advanced TCP IP properties for the voice NIC and modify the DNS settings to use phones.local as the DNS suffix for this connection and uncheck Register This Connection's Address in DNS. Next, open Interaction Administrator and select the Lines container. For the station's TCP, TLS, and UDP lines, verify that the domain name is set to phones.local. Under the Managed IP Phones container, open the configuration for the default IP phone. Note that by default, the menu line is set to Stations TCP, and the line label is Setup. These settings will be used to temporarily provision unprovisioned phones. Select the Registration Groups container and open the default registration group. By default, the station's TCP line is the first registration. If in a switchover environment, the first registration must be a DNS SRV record. Remove the existing registration and click the Add button. Select the last radio button to specify a DNS SRV record, type phones.local in the text field, and select the appropriate protocol. You may also wish to add another registration, such as a SIP proxy. Keep in mind that with Polycom 2.1.x firmware and above, only the first registration supports full failover functionality between two equal servers using DNS SRV records. A Polycom phone will only register with one member of a failover set at a time. All other registrations support fallback functionality, which is slightly more limited, and will be registered concurrently. See Polycom Technical Bulletin 5844 and Interactive Intelligence KB Article Q11770329200039 for more information. Select the Templates container and create a new template, either Workstation or Standalone, selecting Polycom as the manufacturer and the correct model. Polycom settings can be controlled from the Options tab and Station options, such as phone number classifications, can be controlled by editing the station appearance. These settings will be applied to all phones created using this template and can be modified on a per phone basis. Select the Managed IP Phones container and create a new managed phone using the template that was just created. Edit the station appearance to set the station extension and optionally modify the label that will be displayed for that line on the phone and set the newly created phone to be the default workstation for an IC user. The phone is now ready to be provisioned. The first step in configuring DNS for Polycom phone provisioning is to verify the configuration of the lookup zone for the data domain. Open the DNS Management Console and select the forward lookup zone of which the IC servers are members. Verify that an A record exists for the data IP address of each IC server and delete any A records for the voice IP addresses. Next, create a new lookup zone called phones.local that will contain the host and service records for voice devices. This will help prevent conflicts with other services and systems such as OCS that rely on DNS service records. Now, create the necessary SIP service records for the environment. There are a total of six possible records depending on which protocols you plan to use. For all records, the weight and priority should be zero. For TCP and UDP, the port number should be 8060. If using SIP with TLS, the service is underscore SIPS and the port number should be 8061. 
Be sure to include the trailing dot at the end of the fully qualified host names for the IC servers in each service record to avoid potential ambiguity. Create an A record in the phones.local forward lookup zone for the voice IP address of each IC server. These will resolve the fully qualified host names specified in the service records just created and allow the phones to register with the IC servers as a failover pair. Also, create two A records called provision for the voice IP addresses of the IC servers. These will be used by the phones to resolve their provisioning server and allow for redundancy. To verify the DNS configuration, open a command prompt and launch NSLOOKUP. Resolve the fully qualified hostname of each IC server for both the data and voice domains and resolve provision.phones.local, which should return the voice IP addresses for both IC servers. Type set domain equal example.local and resolve the simple hostname for each IC server. Change the current domain to phones.local and repeat. Also, resolve the simple hostname provision. Type set type equal SRV and resolve the service records you have created. Each lookup should return a service record for the specified protocol for each IC server and should resolve the voice IP address for both servers. Open the DHCP Management Console and create a new scope that will be used by Polycom phones. Don't worry about setting any options in the initial setup, we'll take care of that in a moment. Polycom's default setting for the boot server is Custom plus Option 66, where the Custom option is Option 160. To create this custom option, select the DHCP server, right-click, and click Set Predefined Options. Then click Add. Type a name for the option, select String as the data type, and enter 160 as the code. To specify the default value for this option, enter http colon slash slash provision dot phones dot local colon 8088 in the string text field. By default, the Interaction Center provisioning subsystem uses port 8088 for HTTP and port 8089 for HTTPS. Expand the newly created scope, right click Scope Options and select Configure Options. A time server can be set in Administrator, but if using DHCP, Set option 2 with the hexadecimal time offset for your time zone. Cisco has a nice table of offset values that can be found by searching Google for DHCP time offset. Configure option 3 with the gateway for the subnet. Again, if using DHCP to specify a time server, specify its IP address in option 4 or 42. Enter the appropriate DNS servers in option 6. For option 15, enter phones.local as the domain name. And finally, enable option 160. At this point, you should be able to provision an out-of-the-box Polycom phone. If the MAC address of the phone is already present in the managed phone configuration, the phone should be provisioned automatically. If not present, the system should temporarily provision the phone using the configuration specified for the default IP phone. The line label on the phone's display will say Setup, and when the phone is taken off hook, the user will be presented with the provisioning menu. If the phone is configured as the default workstation for a user, selecting option 2 will prompt the user to enter their extension and PIN to provision the phone. If the phone is not associated with a user or is being provisioned by an administrator, selecting option 1 will prompt the user to enter the primary station extension, administrator extension, and PIN. This user must be assigned the IP phone provisioning admin right in Interaction Administrator. Thank you for watching. You can find more information and comment on this video at blog.comprod.com.